Welcome guys. In today's video, let's create a collection view with custom cell. And if I click on the custom cell, we can see cat5 is tapped or cat2 is tapped. So let's start from the scratch. I will remove all this code. Now we have our default project only with cat's array data. In order to create the collection view, first we need a collection view instance. I will initialize it later, but first we need a layout for the collection view of type UA collection view flow layout. And now we can initialize the collection view with frame and collection view layout. I will provide its value as zero because I want to set constraints for the collection view, not the frame. First we set the translates property equal to false and then I will set its top, trailing, leading and bottom anchors equal to our main view. I will simply copy this line and for other anchors I will simply paste and replace these values with the leading anchor. and here trailing anchor and bottom anchor but before we have to add this collection view inside our main view so let's add it as a sub view now we have our collection view inside the main view we have to set its two properties. The first one is data source, which will be equal to our view controller, it means self, and also the delegate. But we have to conform to these protocols. The first one will be a UA collection view data source and other will be UA collection view delegate flow layout. Now from the data source we will get a method number of items in section. Uh, it means how many cells we want to display in the collection view. In our case we want to display these cares so I will simply return cares count. And the other method from data source will be cell for item at. First we have to create our custom cell so we can decode that cell inside our uh, collection view. I will use the same file for cell. You can use a separate file but for time saving let's create it in the same file. This custom cell will inherit from the UI collection view cell. We have to override the initializer and also we have to call the super initializer. It will ask for the required initializer and we can simply fix it. I want to display the image of cat so I will create a cat image view of type UI image view. First, I will add this cat image view inside our cell. Now, let's set its constraints. So, I will simply copy these constraints. So, I don't have to type again all this code. I will simply replace this collection view with our cat image view. And here we don't have to mention this view, so simply remove this view. Once we have our cat image view, we can use this cell for DQ. So simply let's create the cell instance 
using the collection views dqri usable cell with identifier but first we have to register this cell so let's come to the view did load and here i will use the collection view dot register method to register this custom cell class so here i will provide the custom cell dot self class and also we have to provide the identifier for the cell let's simply write cell here we will use this identifier and the index path we have this index path so let's use this index path and now let's type cost it as a custom cell now we have our custom cell instance we can configure our image view value so let's set the cat image view dot image and its value will be equal to ui image with parameter named this name we will get it from the cats array using the index path so let's use the cats array and the index path will help us to fetch the desired value let's return the cell now we can check our output so let's run the code and there we have our five cat images these are names for the cat images which i have placed inside my assets folder you can see these five images so let's move back to our view controller the size of cells is very small so i want to change the size i will simply use a method size for item at and here i will provide the cg size we have to return cg size if uh, as i want to display only two images horizontally i will divide the width of view to half and i will simply minus 20 the height of cell will be 250 and if i run it again i want to add padding on left and right side so i will simply go to my collection views constraint and for the leading anchor i will set its constant value equal to 10 and for the trailing i will also set its constant to minus 10 the trailing constant is minus 10 because we are moving from right to left and we have space on left and right now i want to round the corners i will simply go to my collection view cell and here for the cat image view using its layer property i will set the corner radius equal to 20 but it will not work unless i set another property of layer which is mask bonds masks two bonds equal to true now if i run it again we can see corner radius on each image now i want to add some action when the cell is clicked uh, for this we can use a method did select item at and here we can print a simple message cat1 or cat5 is tapped so we will use a string and for the number we will interpolate the index path not true is tapped so now when i will click on the cat it will uh, display the uh, corresponding number so if i click on this cat it shows cat4 is tapped uh, because indexing starts from zero we can make it according to our cell by simply adding one now it will be cat5 cat2 so this is how you can create a collection view with custom cell i hope this video will help you to create collection views uh, so please subscribe the channel and like the video thanks for watching